Cause it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. Four Audi S4, about 41,000 miles and some change. Uh, you know, 4.2 liter V8. Yep, yeah, 4.2. Uh, 340 horsepower and 302 foot pounds of torque. Well, first gear is really short, so you'll just be in and out of first gear really quick. The steering is pretty heavy. Yeah. Well, it's a, the Audi issue where the engine hangs over. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Over the front of the car, so therefore, the steering's gonna be a little heavy. And everything's basically stock except the brakes that you did, right? That's correct. It's like really, the clutch is really, really high. Like it's right at the top. Yeah. We have to let it go, <laughs> which is interesting. Mine's like really far down. Yours is very far down. This is it's very daily driver friendly though to me. Yeah, no, because like. it's it's really light too. Yep. Which is nice. Yeah. Oh, what's the fuel economy that you get on this thing? <laughs> uh, going back and <laughs> Do forth. Do I want to know? Work? Going back and forth to it's work, it's about. City -ish. It's a good city ish. It's yeah. uh, 16 miles to the gallon. 16 miles to yeah. the gallon. Okay. That's what the motorcycle's for, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the best thing, best I've ever gotten on this was all highway and it was just pushing 19, almost 20. 19, almost 20, okay. Yeah, 20 MPGs. <laughs> I mean, it's a V8. It's. it's what the car weighs like, what, 3,500 pounds? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. And red line on this is 7,000, which is nice. You can rev it out pretty far. Most, most, For V8, yeah, it's actually most, pretty. Yeah, most, most are like pretty, pretty, you know, low. The brake pedal doesn't go down very far, but when you press it, you, you, can, you can feel like a little more press. That'll give you the stop. Yeah. But, you know, obviously this is, you know, 11 year old. 11 year old car? 11 year old, they didn't put Brembo's on this, so. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got this for $20,000, right? Yeah, back in the day, yeah. Back in the day, but it only had 20,000 miles on it. 14. 14,000 <laughs> miles on it. And this infotainment system, there's not really much to it. You got a Bose audio system. Yep, you know, so once again, it's an 04, so yeah. didn't have, uh, they actually, the cusp of the navigation system was uh, the 04. Uh, 2.5.5. That's what they call it. Well, there's no, there's no point of having a navigation system. We have, we have smartphones nowadays, and yep. those, those really keep us up to date more so than anything else. Yep. Like, like I've, I have the, <laughs> the stupid um, sync software, and Ford wants me to upgrade it every year. And they send me an email and say, hey, this is $150. Oh, you God. should pay for this map upgrade. And I'm just like, uh, I just got Google Maps for free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Updates are just, you know, update your app. Exactly. See, the one thing that I do like about this is that, like, with my car, when I go over bumps and stuff, mm -hmm. it's very, very, like, is it harsh? unnerving. It's very harsh. Okay. And this is, this is you know... Well, that was before before you modified it. It, it was you it was, lowered it. it. Yeah, I did lower it, but it still felt like that too. Mm. Like whenever I went over train tracks or something like that, I felt like uh, you know I prayed for prayed to God like you know wouldn't die. Oh okay. Interesting you say that because I've had uh, I've had friends say the S4 is very stiff suspension already. And obviously, this car takes premium, so yeah, as all <laughs> Audis do. <laughs> nice and expensive at the pump. Yep. 
you, you won't get away with anything with them. <sighs> but no, this, this car is nice. I like the seats, the Recaro seats with the uh, nice suede insert here. Yep, the Alcantar. Yeah. And then the steering wheel, the steering wheel is really nice. It, it apparently has held up very nicely throughout the years too. Yeah. That's the sport steering wheel, three-point steering wheel. The 5.1 had the uh, entertainment controls at your fingertips, though. But I, I preferred this one better. So I like I like the gauges too. It's kind of like it, it's, it's clean. Yeah, it's clean and it's like angled towards you. Oh yeah, it is. I never even realized that. <laughs> So the difference between the S4 and the RS4 is that they're both a 4.2 liters. Uh -huh. However, that one's a TFSI, so it's a, uh, I don't recall exactly, but the combustion's a bit different, so they were able to squeeze uh, a little more horsepower of that engine. Right, right. Which is essentially the same engine in the uh, V8 R8. Do they redo the suspension for that too? Uh, yeah, everything's kind of beefed up a little more. Yeah, because I... <laughs> I think I think one of my coworkers has an RS4, and it's he's, he kept saying that it's just rough everywhere. Yeah. Where this is this is a little this is pretty stiff, but I mean I, th I think it's just maybe the seats that are very comfortable mm -hmm. that you know it sort of absorbs it. It's got nice bolsters from the uh, uh, Recaro, so it holds you in. Yeah. Nice around the turns. Yeah. Not like not like the Focus STs. Those things like grab you and bear hug you. This is more oh. of a like lighter hug yeah <laughs> maybe maybe the seats are softer too because <laughs> this one is just like bear hug you it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of like uh, if you're driving it for a while it's very it sucks it's not so fun yeah then yeah the clutch is light this the uh shifter is very precise i mean it's it's a little loose but i mean i don't think i'm ever gonna miss a gear it goes, it goes straight into it. This armrest is a little bit high, but... It is a little high. I think a lot of people prefer to drive that with it up, so... That's why I asked you before we started. <laughs> that's right. So, you, like you were saying before, the this car takes like 9 quarts of oil? Yeah, 9.2 uh, quarts of oil. So, so if you're massive. planning on... <laughs> Changing the oil yourself, prepare to pay a hefty premium. So it takes a mobile one full synthetic. And then how big is the gas tank? Uh, it's gotta be pretty big. Well, no, it's actually not that big, it's uh, about 14 gallons. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I like the noise that it makes too. Yeah, yeah. It's like a very refined, like, V8 sound. It is nice. So. I know uh, one thing with the exhaust is there's uh, flaps that, come, that cover, that come out at uh, 2,000 RPMs that uh, okay. reduces the noise. That's nice. Yeah. Things that can be found in a luxury car. <laughs> but yeah, I mean the trim's nice. This is, this is it's the aluminum trim. They had the uh, carbon fiber trim in the, uh, the next gen. Uh, oh, they also had the wood one too so i was actually glad that this came in <laughs> yeah. aluminum five. woods aluminum. woods crappy i don't like wood i i mean it looks nice but i mean we're not old people yet so yeah exactly like, <laughs> like all the mercedes they come with wood wood and uh automatic transmissions right That's, right nice. one thing i feel that uh, this car needs is an extra gear or actually longer six gear because cruising at about 70 miles per hour um the rpms are revving pretty high is it? Yeah, in okay. six gear. So you'll still be just under 3,000 cruising at 70 miles per hour, which is, it's not ideal for, you know, cruising around on the highway. Pedal response is nice. Yep. The, and yeah, once you, once you just tap into it, it's just automatic. And right around that 3,000, 4,000 RPM, that's where you get most of the power. Most of the torque right there. Yep. You can definitely feel it right there. And it doesn't, that's the thing about the V8. You don't, there's no time to spool, anything like that. It's just instant, Go. which is really, really nice. My brother was talking about getting one and then I'm just like, yeah, you should get one. He's like, but look at the fuel economy. I'm like, you don't buy a car like this for fuel economy. No, yeah. you don't. No problem. 
mountains trying to find traction, which I do have to do, like with any two-wheel drive car. Yeah, the Quattro definitely helps, especially in the winter time. So this is a perfect daily driver for me in you know the Midwest. So the Quattro bias is 50-50. Uh, since now, they are actually 60-40 more in the rear. You could owe me a take a gas after all this. <laughs> That's alright. I can pay for a take a gas. This guy's running in this crappy Jeep. <laughs> Did you smoking. see that though? That smoke when he's yeah. trying to floor it. <laughs> it's just like, uh, oh, I gotta make this light. <laughs> just, you like floored it and the car didn't go any faster. It didn't go any faster, it's just some... <laughs> Gray smoke came yeah. out. Uh, they're out today. Jeep that Wrangler. guy was like, that guy was like texting. Not, yeah, he was looking <laughs> down and not even paying attention. 